Hi, I'm Gwen Schoen, food writer with the Sacramento Bee, and in the kitchen today, Chef Jim Turknett from Chanterelles at the Sterling Hotel in Sacramento is joining us. Welcome. Thank you. And we're, today we're going to be making butternut squash, apple, and onion galette. Right. Thank you for showing us how to do this wonderful appetizer. Now tell us, what is a galette? Well, a galette would be, it, it can be several different things. It can be a sweet galette or it can be a savory galette. Mm -hmm. uh, you could fill it with apples and pears or strawberries, blueberries, anything like that, and it would be served as a dessert. But today we're going to serve it as an appetizer, so it's going to be savory. Great. We're going to serve some thyme and butter and things like that on it. Wonderful. Well, how do you start? Start well, with we're the going to start. We're going to start off by making a light flaky pastry. I'm going to add a cup and a half of flour. Cup and a quarter, right? Cup and a quarter, quarter I'm sorry. Cup yeah, and a quarter, cup and a quarter, quarter. quarter. Give or take a little bit. <laughs> a little bit of salt. Now you do your pastry shell in a food I, processor. I do it in a food processor. It's very similar to doing it in a KitchenAid. Mm -hmm. It's the same process, or you could do it by hand, actually. It's all uh -huh. pretty much the same, but we try to speed it up here a little bit. And then I'm going to add a little bit of butter. It's really cold, and it's in small pieces. I'm going to add this and let it just kind of mix away a little bit. Add the butter slowly. The idea is to incorporate the butter into the flour, and you want to leave it in large enough pieces, though, so that when it melts, it adds a little bit of fat into the flour and it'll make your pastry nice and light and fluffy. As you can see, the flour and the butter are all incorporated. It uh, actually looks a little bit like cornmeal. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna restart the machine. I'm gonna add one egg that I've lightly beaten. Just let that go just for a little bit. You don't wanna overbeat it or you're gonna make your uh, dough tough and we don't wanna do that. Okay, so that looks nice and ready to roll out. Yeah, ab absolutely. So we're going to dust the table with a little bit of flour, okay. and I will roll this. Some uh, flour. Yeah, I'm just going to lightly dust here, and then I'm going to roll out my dough. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Yeah, it's actually a very nice light pastry dough. And, you know, you can see as you apply pressure to different points of the, uh, the uh, rolling pin here, you can roll it out into the same pattern that you want. Mm hmm I'm going to try to roll this out into a nice round pattern. Now, what size do you want it? I want to do about 12 inches. Okay. I'll trim whatever's uh, left over. So while the dough is in the refrigerator chilling, you're going to prepare the filling. And uh, you'll start with a peeled butternut squash. Right. So show us how you chop that up. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to cut the ends off. And then I'm going to cut this uh, right in the center. It's got some seeds in the middle, and we want to take those out. And then I'm going to try to cut the butternut squash and the apples the same thickness and the same okay. shape. That way they're uh, going to fit into the uh, galette shell nice and evenly. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting. You make that look easy. <laughs> and it's kind of going to look like a, you know, a piece of an apple when I'm, uh -huh. when I'm done. And it's real important that everything uh, kind of looks the same. And then I'm going to uh, I'm going to quarter this apple. I'm going to cut okay. it away, away from the core, though. Okay. That way I don't have to worry about the core. I'm going to just cut it and force. Now we're using a Granny Smith. Could you use another type of baking apple? Oh, I like a tart apple, and these okay. are a little tart, and it goes well Perfect. with the sweet uh, butternut squash. Okay. You can see here's the core. It's uh, mm -hmm. not much good. And I'm going to slice the apple so that it looks a little bit like the uh, butternut squash. It's all the same size. Mm-hmm. As a professional chef, we always cut both ends off the onion. Mm -hmm. Cut the onion in half. Uh -huh. And then you take the skin off. Okay. Just like that. All right. Same way with this side I here. Can, I can do that. Yeah, it's real simple. <laughs> and then uh, the onion is designed so that the core mm -hmm. will hold the onion together a little bit. So you want to put the core on the back side. Mm -hmm. And then we just want to slice the onion, and you're going to get nice little... Uh, julienne pieces of onion. Okay, so now we're going to add the onion to the butternut squash on the apple. Yep, yes we are. And then add some nice herbs. Then I'm going to add some uh, rosemary. I'm going to reserve a little bit to go on top. It's about two teaspoons. Yeah, a little bit of thyme. About two teaspoons of that too. Some butter. And a little salt and pepper. And pepper, now a little salt. And I'm going to toss all of this and get it all incorporated. <laughs> well, I'd use a spoon, but this works. <laughs> yeah, this is a great way to do it. Keep your hands nice and clean. Uh -huh. 
And then I'm going to lay out the pastry dough and I'm going to arrange this into a nice flour on top of the pastry dough. Okay. Fold it up and we'll bake it in the oven. Great. Okay, now we're ready for the fun part. The, the pastry's been chilled and it's all rolled out and on a cookie sheet. Now you're going to arrange your... Well, first I'm going to brush it with okay. some uh, whole grain Dijon mustard. It's okay. going to give the pastry a nice flavor. It smells really good. Yeah, you can smell that mustard. It's delicious. <laughs> Then I'm going to arrange the uh, my fruits and vegetables in a nice uh, spiral pattern, alternating the apples and the butternut squash. You can smell this great uh, rosemary and thyme and butter on these uh, fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. So let's see here. I'm going to stop right there, and I'm going to add a little bit, a little bit more thyme, a little bit more rosemary. And I'm going to add a few onions to this, just periodically uh, scatter them on. That's really beautiful. Yeah. So there's your there's your galette. And now what we're going to do is the galette is going to be served open face. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start turning this, folding it as we go along. Turn it. Turn my dish. Go well, that looks pretty side. simple. Yeah, it's very easy to do. Once you get out of the fear of cooking, it's actually pretty easy. <laughs> and there we go. Now I would throw it in a hot oven at about 400 degrees and bake it for around 55 minutes. Mm -hmm. And it'll come out nice and golden brown. And then we're going to scatter a little bit of Stilton cheese on top of it. So now the butternut apple galette is out of the oven and it smells absolutely wonderful. Um, so you'd cut this into about six pieces right? For and use it for an appetizer. And you could serve a little uh, mixed green salad on the side, some mescaline or something mm -hmm. like that, you know, just some baby lettuces and mm -hmm. a little galette, and you've got a great first course. Oh, it sounds wonderful. Okay. I you can't wait. To, I can't wait to taste it. It's like a great way to spend the New Year's. You can smell that blue cheese. It Ooh, smells delicious. Oh, it smells great. Mmm. That's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.